universe as we know it began with one enormous explosion of energy and light, which we now call the Big Bang. It all started with a single point of infinite gravity and density. Then, in a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, it exploded outwards, doubling and redoubling in size at a rate faster than the speed of light, giving birth to our universe. Well, sort of. The details are a bit murky, but one thing led to another, and now we are here. We have a pretty good idea of what happened after the Big Bang, but what happened before that? What caused the Big Bang in the first place? Was there anything that existed before time and space began? Does it even make sense to refer to a time before time itself existed? To be perfectly clear, we can't definitively answer these questions, but we can speculate wildly. According to the famous scientist Stephen Hawking, there was nothing around before the Big Bang. His theory of no boundaries lies upon the assumption that the universe has no boundaries and that neither space nor time existed before the Big Bang. To understand the theory better, grab your universal remote and hit rewind. Our universe is constantly expanding, so if you move backwards in time, then the universe contracts. Rewind about 14 billion years and the entire universe shrinks to the size of a single atom. This tiny ball of everything is known as the singularity. Inside this extremely small, massively dense speck of heat and energy, the laws of physics and time as we know them cease to function. Put another way, time as we understand it literally did not exist before the universe started to expand. Rather, the arrow of time shrinks infinitely as the universe becomes smaller and smaller, never reaching a clear starting point. And that's it. In a nutshell, it is impossible to measure events before the Big Bang because time and the way we recognize it simply didn't exist. Of course, Hawking's theory about the dawn of time is just one of many. There are several hypotheses that attempt to explain what triggered the universe into being. For example, another theory is the mirror universe theory. According to this theory, our universe is a mirror image of one that existed before the Big Bang. In the previous universe, everything was reversed, including time. Before the Big Bang, time went backwards in the universe and particles were antiparticles. If you were to crack an egg in this anti-universe, from our perspective in time, it would seem to go from a puddle of yolk to a cracked egg to an uncracked egg to inside the chicken. In this universe, the universe would go from exploding outward to a Big Bang singularity and then exploding into our universe. This is completely mind-boggling, but so is our universe. There's too much we don't know because there's too much we haven't experienced, and we tend to look at so many things from a human-centric perspective. Perhaps one day, our future generations will crack the code of the universe and its beginnings. Maybe they'll even find the existence of other dimensions of life, the universe, and everything in between.